my uh, first question to uh, Chandrajit. So, uh, with India Gaming Show, uh, are we able to establish responsible gaming? And what are your thoughts? You know, it's like this. Uh, uh, this uh, entire uh, gaming show is a first of its kind in many ways being done by the Indian Digital Gaming Society, which CII supports. And CII has been incubating a large number of institutions uh, for the future. And uh, this particular society, which is being formed, which is being formed in existence for some time, is seen to be as uh, how do we look at a future tech uh, uh, related institution which would be responsible, uh, bring in policy frameworks, help in um, advocacy of policy framework which is again response, which supports responsible uh, gaming. India is today a large market but India needs to be also responsible in its policy framing and companies and industry also needs to be responsible. Uh, so that's one big objective. Second, of course, we, we see a uh, huge amount of technology in this, so uh, global companies who can uh, collaborate with Indian companies and even how Indian companies can become global leaders in this, is that's one of the other objective. Uh, socializing this strongly through mediums of uh, the exhibition that you've seen uh, would only help in educating people on responsible, uh, responsible uh, gaming and responsible uh, use usage of it and also a responsible policy factors in few years back we saw the attention being given to the sector through uh, the policy makers when we heard about AVGS uh, being, uh, being becoming a focus and a priority area so these are some of the uh, thoughts that went into within CII to see how we are able to bring in an institution uh, through uh, certain players who are already established and who are who can definitely focus on areas of governance, uh, responsibility, but also uh, create the type of fun that we are seeing in your show. Absolutely. Um, to you, Dinesh, so, you know, just extending a little from that conversation, the industry is at a very nascent stage. So how do you see uh, this industry shaping, uh, you know, in the future and, um, you know, uh, do you see this as a topic, you know, for um, at a central governance level and from a policy point of view? How do you see this industry, you know, from the future? Yeah, actually, the you're right. I mean, it is nascent, but still, I would call it large enough to be attractive as a sector. Mm -hmm. So we are speaking about somewhere around 180 billion dollars in terms of the industry already being present, and the rate of growth of this being very high. So it creates, I would call it, significant opportunities opportunities in terms of looking at uh, both content creation and also value addition which you do and both of it in the context of the right governance mechanism being in place. So for us I think both as industry players and as I would call it participants in the growth of the country and growth of the economy this is a unique opportunity maybe in many ways for India to take the lead in making sure that you are integrated into creating the right games and the right esports for uh, the sector to not just uh, allow uh, global products but also Indian products to be globalized. From the governance angle and from the industry sector, I think it's a perfect platform to bring together everybody who is associated with it, starting from the investors to the governance angle, the responsibility which you mentioned and last but not the least make sure every industry player is brought in and especially I would say the content creators who are small uh, who are, you know, uh, have good ideas to be able to be integrated into that both digitally and officially. Great. So, uh, coming to you, Rajin, you have uh, been there at the uh, inaugural of IGS 2024. You've seen the crowd. You've seen that, you know, there have been so many youngsters who've been so heavily engaged uh, and have, you know, interacted with so many brands uh, over the last two days at uh, IGS 2024. So how do you see uh, Pune growing as a hub for gamers, gaming brands and this industry in general? So you know the IGS uh, 2024 has actually surpassed all our expectations in terms of both participation as well as you know the visitors, right? So while yeah. we did keep day one more for B2B etc, we saw a large flow of uh, you know even the consumer side of gamers coming in of course you know, over the weekend we see that scaling up. 
and you know given that pune is a young city uh, it attracts a large student population uh, interestingly pune is the largest employer of uh, even it talent across some of the largest companies uh, serving the rest of the world uh, creative talent is big uh, so we really have seen a, a big push you know which is happening uh, in the city to be able to create more content creators to be able to create businesses that leverage content uh, and actually address the creative industry you know at large so while video gaming and esports is a 180 billion dollar global industry and we as a country are less than 1% of that market when it comes to consumption and gamers we are about 17% of that so we have 500 million gamers in a 3 billion global community that plays games right. and we are only 1% of that entire segment so you can see the amount of growth you know and as dinesh rightly said not only will we see you know growth with you know global content that's coming but a lot of indian content that can be taken out to the rest of the world the video gaming industry is a 50 year old industry it didn't come to india early on right. because you needed consoles or pcs it's only when the smartphones have come that it's created an exponential value proposition for indians and for indian gamers and developers and therefore i strongly believe the the shows that we do as cii and itgs in cities like pune and you know maybe other tier 2 tier 3 cities mm -hmm. in the future would be more meaningful because it's able to bring in you know the bharat element into yes. everything that we are doing yes. and also uh, interestingly video gaming and midcore gaming is creating a new generation of sports person e sports is now an olympic medal sport it will be a nation yes. game sport you want someone can go and win a medal for the country yes. you know by becoming athletes and as any other sport all of that has not come from you know our metros it's come from tier 2 tier 3 cities so we truly believe that this this area this arena will not be any different and you know our test with pune has really enabled us to i think be more aggressive as idgs and actually accelerate uh, you know the reach of uh, different aspects of this business because this brings in new immersive technologies i think ar vr and you know we had uh, like nvidia the latest trillion dollar company in the world is based on gaming cpus right because right. the kind of content that is required as you know even chandrajit mentioned avgc and now avge c is becoming <laughs> with esports becoming yes. sectors that india has to focus on and we see uh, tier 2 tier 3 cities like pune uh, actually contributing significantly to their growth in the future right so it it's unanimously agreed that this industry is here to stay to boom to you know create so much uh, more for india right and its youth uh, so just any message for students entrepreneurs or upcoming artists from each of your experience from what you know on you know uh, how they could look at this industry you know, i think uh, uh, this is one area i think which gives uh, livelihood and employment opportunities to multiple uh industry so if you see development of games there is a creative industry you can become an artist an animator engineering is a very big part of this so if you're an engineer if you are a game designer if you are a product economy specialist so even we have economists neurologists you know who are part of this industry psychology is very large because it engages with the industry and as we are seeing this becoming larger sports uh, related activities we have casters Uh, we have creators we have influencers right. you know today uh, we just interacted at this show at the india gaming show we had india's top 10 influencers in gaming who yes. came in person who participated who showed what the value of that is and so many large brands that today want to connect with the youth don't have a mechanism because the young people don't read newspapers yes. sorry they don't watch television <laughs> they they right. engage through games and they make their connections they make their social networks through that so there is there is a very hard way to reach them and i think gaming video gaming and esports provide those opportunities so if you just think of the opportunities in terms of livelihood generations yeah. it's huge and we have created master classes in this igs this time to showcase to people what could be potential careers and you know india has always been a very strong back end also So of course, with this, we want to take IP to the world, but we also believe we'll become strong backend partners to some of the largest companies and countries in the world 
as this uh, industry expands. So very exciting time for students. Absolutely. I think uh, Rajan covered the opportunity side of it. Yeah. Let me cover from obviously the people who are you playing these games or uh, yeah. you know uh, connecting through them. I think this is only one part of their life. Obviously, they have their life to make <laughs> and they have their future to create. Yeah. Therefore, I would say that this is something which is new, which obviously captivates and it's great to be involved in, but that's only one part of life and yeah. they should view it that way. Yeah. They see a business opportunity, they see a job opportunity, nothing like it. Obviously, that's why we are here and that's why we are excited by the opportunity which it presents. But I think the responsible side of it or the use of it yes. in a manner which they enjoy but it doesn't take all over their lives. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> a very important message there. Thank you. So, you know, the way I look at it, you know, go back many years, you saw the IT revolution coming into India. It stuck on, right? It, it yeah. just evolved. That time, the policy ecosystem was not around it. Then we slowly develop more understanding. We, uh, uh, you know, the rest of it is history. So I see esports, gaming, all of that is already pretty much there. But now we are trying to build an ecosystem. So five quick bullets. One, I see this to be a huge encouragement if it really fits into the uh, how India is looking at uh, its future. So I see it encouraging a large number of startups coming into it. So the startup movement gets pretty much well flipped, if I can say, through this. The second part is this is a huge platform for innovation and technology. And I see that getting encouraged tremendously in that. The third area uh, is uh, very important, was touched upon, is on uh, the need for capacity building. Uh, it, it really cr creates a lot of opportunity for creative people and creative opportunities. And the point which was talked about was therefore creating employment opportunities and employability. So that's a, the, 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 this third point is very, very critical for us as we go along. Of course, youth was spoken in, and all of it is youth. Yeah. So it's great to be engaged in an area of work which is uh, so much for the youth. And I see the participation even of our uh, young women is phenomenal. And that's why it yeah. encourages us to also think about it uh, appropriately. And that too, responsibly. So uh, youth being ch uh, channelized into a responsible uh, in, in a responsible way when we are looking at something which is uh, related to fun, which is all catching on, is extremely important and that's where we would be involved in this show and the entire area of gaming looks into it. And last but not the least is this puts India's uh, many of these areas, be it technology, be it the way startups are happening, be it the responsible way gaming and esports are, all of this uh, the technology side, it puts India on a global map of leadership Absolutely. and that's uh, through either global collaboration or what we can give to the globe and I think this is a huge opportunity and therefore so much of uh, involvement and encouragement by us. Right. Thank you so much uh, for this today and uh, we're all looking forward to IG's 2025 now and uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.